This is a monument 700 years earlier in Palenque. It's the lid of a coffin. The guy's in front of a tree with a bird on the top of the tree. He's in the same position. And this is supposed to be the king rising up through the Milky Way to the heavens. And yet he's in exactly the same pose as these world trees, these, these, these ancient trees of, of the, the Mishtek. Except that this is even more ancient. This is 683 AD. There's that temple of the inscriptions with that long date in the future. These symbols, I know, I know, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. These symbols basically are telling us that the Maya would take an image and they would transform its meaning. It's a funeral object, but it's also telling us that this guy is a directional tree, a tree of the, of the, of the cosmos. It's just that nobody really noticed the correlation between his pose and the pose of these Mishtek things until recently. Anyway, I have, I'm sure you have lots of questions. And, uh, and thank I you. want to remind you that. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you were saying that uh, the um, Mayas really didn't care so much for solstice. However, it yes, uh, built over another period, grand exactly. Grand but when you're building these things, these are sacred. People think about stuff. You know, I did, uh, I've done stone sculpture, and when I'm sculpting something, I'm thinking about the sculpture for all those months and weeks, and I get ideas and I put little things in. You know, there's all sorts of stuff, and it's entirely possible that it was aligned deliberately to the to the to the afternoon solstice uh, or equinox sunrise, but or not sunrise, but the sun coming around in the afternoon. It's entirely possible, but it just doesn't seem that important that it didn't happen at sunrise, and it doesn't happen to any of this any of the other snakes. There's even snakes coming down the ball court and along the bottom of the ball court. There's snakes all over Chichen. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm just, you know, maybe, maybe not. You know, it really makes me wonder, too, when they, you know, trying to figure out who's the man, who's the woman, everything is man, woman involved. They were probably the first people that really thought of equality. Their women and their men were... Well, equality is kind of a relative word. Yeah. Keep this in mind, that because women can create other people, because women give birth and men don't. It was woman's job to grind corn. Men didn't grind corn because corn was the material from which human beings were made. And because women can grind, women can, can create other people, they got the job of doing all the grinding. So the women get up in the morning, okay. and they, uh, oh, no. you know, the sun's not up yet, it's still dark. They get out the corn and everybody's still asleep and they're in the dark grinding this corn because they don't want to wake their families. So they do this in the dark, and it's kind of a primordial event, right? They're like making human humanity every morning, and it's their job to do it. Men can sleep in, and I think that was I think it's an excuse. I think it was an excuse for the men to sleep in. But Where's my coffee, honey? That's right. That's right. So thank you so much for coming. Oh, I wanted to ask you. Yes, ma'am. Um, what about the Aztecs? Is there, do you have any on their culture? Do, does it correlate with, or is it a totally different one? The Aztec culture derived, they were, uh, just like the Christian culture derives a lot from the pagan Celts in France and the uh, Egyptians and oh, so the, the Jewish. so the Aztecs were more like our Western civilization? The Aztecs were more derivative in yeah, the way that our Western okay. civilization, they came the last. And so their creation myth has five creations. They begin on a date that also begins with a four. You know, four ahau is the date of yeah. the Maya calendar. Four um, olin is the date of the present creations beginning. But there, before the four olin creation, there was a four jaguar creation, a four water creation, a four rain creation, and a four fire, I think. So these were all created at different times that came yeah. together in one? Well, they were created one after the other. And in the first creation, they were, the, in the Aztec creation, the first creation they made giants. In the second creation they made um, kind of monkeys. In the next creation, each thing they got closer to men. It's like an evolution. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And the Maya creation started with, the, their, they have four creations in the Maya myth. And, it all, and their first creation had no people at all. Second was people made of mud, and they melted in the rain. Second, third was people who made of wood, and then they made people out of corn. Oh. And so... The Aztecs apparently derived their myth of creation and the cycles of it from the Maya, but they embellished it a lot, and they made it much more mechanical. The Aztecs said it began and ended 653, 676 years apart on the same day. If it began on a four movement, it would end on a four movement. If it began on a four jaguar, it would end a on a totally five four jaguar. It was pretty much, it was actually the same, same calendar. Really? They, de the they derived the calendar from the Maya, and the Maya derived it from somebody else. They, the Maya didn't invent the 
yeah. so-called Maya calendar. Well, this is fascinating. And I look at the History Channel all the time, and there's mm -hmm. a lot about the Mayan culture. And there are, but careful, that's the Hysteria Channel. I know, I know, <laughs> they dramatize, but they do, but they do. Did I have fun? I always have fun. Hey, you said you would help.